Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Always Broke RC shenanigans. So today we are out with the BC-8 Mammoth by Cross RC and the Element Gatekeeper as well as I have the TRX-4 High Trail Edition. It's not on the trailer right now, but unfortunately I'm experiencing some technical difficulties due to this trail being a bit rougher and the weight of my TRX-4 is causing me issues on this trailer. So I'm only pulling the gatekeeper up. I will have to go back and get the TRX-4 High Trail Edition. But I figure, you know what? You guys will probably enjoy a chilling video while I get up to the new location that I discovered last night with the TRX-4 High Trail Edition. So without further ado, we're gonna get coming up the trail here. So I'd like to say hello and welcome to all my new subscribers and I'd also like to say hello to my fellow veteran subscribers who subscribed a while back. I would also like to say I hope that all the men and women who are serving and protecting this country are doing well. I appreciate your service and I'm most grateful and that includes police, fire, EMS as well. So I know while I'm out RCing, enjoying this great pastime activity, it, only, it is only because of the men and women who go above and beyond the call of duty to do what they do best. So thank you for that. And thank you to my, all my fellow veterans out there as well. So I hope you've all had a great week thus far. It is sad that it is Sunday and the week is ending. Sorry, I have not been able to get out as of late. But unfortunately, just been busy. It's fall time here. There's a lot of things that we have to accomplish before winter hits. And work has been busy. Because I work in the construction industry. And... Everyone wants their stuff done before snow flies. So, work is very busy. So I don't get to get out and make videos as much as I'd like. But, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Give me a second here. My awesome homemade hitch came a little undone. So bear with me for a second here. All right, so that is an actual working fifth wheel hitch on the BC-8 Mammoth. However, I've noticed that when I'm going over certain angles and stuff, it, it will unlatch itself. It is unfortunate, but just the way it goes. So, you know, you stop, take 30 seconds and fix your issue. So, See what I mean? It just keeps popping off, dang it. Ah, gonna have to work on that, it looks like, folks. I have to try to fix my issue. But for now, it's just gonna rest on the bar while I pull it up the hill. And that'll be what it's gonna be for me. So, while I pull this up the hill, tell me if you guys got any new builds going on or any hobbies in the works. Anything that's coming up. See, this has been my problem earlier. That one tire there is dragging. Just the way they have them designed. It locks up and it really sucks. I need to like loosen that. that but unfortunately I don't have the tool to do it so yeah technical difficulties the beauty of trying to make things work huh that's why you get out in RC everything is always broke it always broke RC so just bear with me okay guys it wouldn't be always broke RC if I wasn't having constant 24 hour issues that's just the way it goes but the coolest part about the BC-8 Mammoth is 
it has the power to drag this trailer. I mean, the weight this BC-8 Mammoth can pull is absolutely stunning. And it's not even brushless. So, if you want a really good brush motor that can just drag whatever you need, go find the Cross RC BC-8 Mammoth and put that in the rig. Because I'm telling you, it is very impressive. And as you guys have seen in some of my videos where I've pulled a broken down uh, TRX-6 hauler, that I drug it for a long ways and I didn't even get the motor warm on this BC-8. So this brush motor that's in here, even though, yeah, I'm dragging that one tire, I'm creating a flat spot on it. This tank does not even care. So the BC-8 Mammoth in real life is a heavy transport vehicle from Russia. But there goes the wheel. Looks like we are gonna have some more tech technical difficulties here. Well, that shocks. Uh, there's the nut. All right, guys, we might be ditching this and changing plans. Don't worry, I brought a backup trailer. So. See? See my technical difficulties here? I am actually going to go grab my TRX-4 K30. We're going to pull this thing up the hill the right way. And we're going to have to leave this mammoth here for a minute. Not that the mammoth is having issues, it's more the dang trailer. You would think locking wheel nuts would stay locked, but of course they will not. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Let's carry on down the trail a minute longer until my wheel comes off again. And if I need to, I'll go grab my other trailer. Because I brought them both today because initially I was just wanting to see here what would happen with this. One sec. Trying to fix this dang tire. And it's not gonna loosen. See, so, yeah, it's just not gonna work for me, guys. It's gonna be stubborn because I don't have what I need to make that fixed. Oh, oh well. All right, I'm gonna go get it, keeps it up the high trail edition to drag this thing up to the crawl spot. The annoying part is, we really don't have that far to go, so. I really don't want to have to walk back to the truck and get my stuff because, like I said, the BC-8 can pull it all day long if the dang trailer would quit being a pain in the butt. So. Let's see what this other... Oh, they're all rolling. We're rolling now, boys. Rolling for five minutes anyways. That's how long... It usually is before I break my bashers if anyone's curious. But if you see my videos, that's that's just the way it goes. Oh, locked up a wheel again. I guess it's time to quit building RCs and start fixing RC trailers, huh? Sorry the motor in the BC-8 is loud. Um, not much I can do about it. I mean, I could put a sound kit on it, but not that fancy guy who has sound kit. You just get to listen to my sound kit and my voice. So while I drag this up the trail and I am pulling the Element Gatekeeper, which in my opinion is the best rig that Element has came out with. I love it. The 
the way I have mine configured, it is a really good rock crawler. And it's very impressive. However, Element just released a new rig called the Bushido. Why? That is 100% beyond me. And in all actuality, in my opinion, I'm a bit disappointed because they call it a shorter wheelbase, this, that, and other. It's really not a shorter wheelbase. There's videos that people have lined the Bushido chassis next to the, um, another element truck. I'm the brain part what that truck's called. But anyways, it's like the same wheelbase and everything. The, the only reason it really seems shorter, in my opinion, is just the big body it has on it. But that's not really my point. I'm not here to say it's shorter, longer, whatever else. I'm just curious what the people of my, my viewers have to say about the Element RC Bushido. Hold on, I'm a little snagged up here. I gotta... Oh, we're really snagged. One sec. I'm really curious what people think about the Element Bushido. Are you going to get one? Have you pre-ordered one? And do you like the challenge of a shorter wheelbase or would you prefer a long wheelbase vehicle? Man, gnarly trail out of nowhere. on a big old rock. I thought I'd clear it. I won't. So I get to use the little hand of God. One second. I appreciate everyone's patience with me on this video today. I know it's slow crawling and just one difficulty after another, but it's just the way it is. As you can tell, I need to have one of my friends reinforce my gooseneck trailer because it's very not goosenecky. It's like gonna break in half. Wouldn't amaze me if that happened. So, anyways, if you're watching this video, you need to come fix my gooseneck trailer. You know who you are. But we broke it folks there she goes she blew all right guys well with this I'm actually gonna unhook the mammoth and so I don't break this any more than I need to we're gonna have to park the trailer for a minute and we're gonna walk back and we're gonna have to go get the K30 in order to finish this. See, that's my luck. There I go, talking about breaking my trailer, and sure enough, boom, broke. But now, while I walk back, you guys can see some of the terrain around here. We'll give you the pretty view, not necessarily the trail kind of what's out and about where I'm at. So up here in the Rocky Mountains where I'm at, there's not a lot of rock outcroppings and stuff to go crawl on, unfortunately. It's a lot of big boulders and shell rock and a bunch of loose dirt. So, unfortunately for me, I don't get to do the fancy gate crawl comps and stuff. 
I would love to because I have technically two rigs that are built for them that when I was down in Utah I used to go RC and do that fun stuff with but now it's just a lot of trailing it's not always the funnest but it is what it is Alright, here we are back to the trailhead. I'm gonna stop the video here.